Welcome to this video. As you may recall, one of the earlier videos was about our shopping habits and the options and opportunities that we have to choose plasticless packaging. This video is going to centre on quantifying the amount of plastic packaging that we generate in a typical household. And we're going to do that by two methods, uh, using a simple kitchen scale, which most households have, for small arisings of plastic waste, and using a bathroom scale for larger quantities, so that we can compare the waste arisings of a typical household to the UK household waste statistics. So let's have a look at that now. One of the simplest ways to weigh the plastic waste that you generate is to weigh on a daily basis using the humble kitchen scales. So here we have our kitchen scales which can read in both pounds or kilograms. It doesn't matter which you use as long as you use it consistently throughout your weighing schedule. So we have here firstly the plastic waste from our plastic shopping that you will have seen in an earlier video. So let's weigh that. So as we can see from the weighing scale reading it's 138 grams. So for our plastic shopping we generated 138 grams which consisted of the plastic bags and all the plastic wrapping and containers. Now let's swap that shopping out for the plastic waste generated in our plastic less shopping. And as we can see the weighing scales show 11 grams. So that compares with the 138 grams of plastic waste from the plastic shopping. Quite a significant decrease if you make wise shopping choices. Now let's go and look at a larger scale weighing exercise to weigh our plastic generated over the past two weeks. So firstly, I need to weigh my own body weight. Uh, maybe that's something I'll keep a little bit secret between me and my weighing scale, but I'll make a note nonetheless. And then we need to weigh the plastic items. Okay, and then we write down that weight. And out of interest, I'm also going to weigh the paper and cardboard and the glass and tin cans. So in order to make our calculation, we need to understand a few national statistical figures. So there is 1.5 million tonnes of plastic waste per household each year, which equates to 1,000 times more that than that in kilograms. The UK population is approximately 65 million, and so therefore the total waste arisings is 23 kilograms per person per annum. So in order to compare our waste that we weighed using differential weighing we must ensure that the, we understand the total weight per fortnight is 1.2 kilograms which equates to 31.2 kilograms 
over a full year. And since there's two persons in our household, each person generates 15.6 kilograms of waste, which compares very favourably with the uh, government statistics of 23 kilograms per person per annum. And in order to make a comparison, our paper and cardboard that we generated per person is 62.4 kilograms and the glass and cans that we generated was 23.4 kilograms. So based on the differential weighing that I've carried out on our fortnightly waste arisings, we generated 1.2 kilograms of plastic waste and that equates to 31.2 kilograms for our two-person household. And that compares favourably with the 46 kilograms per two-person household per annum that you would expect. So whilst we compare very favourably with the national statistics, we're not going to rest on our laurels. We're going to aim to reduce as much of our plastic waste as we can to try to go plastic less. If you've been inspired by this video to go plasticless, why not try these great action points?